red. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a cracker. So. I can't join IUIC. I could do like your boy. Like, was that movie, uh, the C. Thomas Howe, the, the, the Soul, Soul Train, Soul Glow. Not Soul Glow. What's that movie he went to the Soul Man? You hear that movie, Soul Man? He pretended like he was black and he went to the, the university or something. To the old black college. Soul Man. That was a retarded ass movie. It came yeah, out in the 80s. Soul that's how I'm gonna get. I'm gonna join IUIC, so I can get me a one of the beautiful Israelite women. Black yeah. <laughs> <I'm> a, <laughs> can we know? But just think about how crazy them whores are that got up in there. You know they're whacked in the head. You know they're totally whacked. I don't. I don't even, like. Oh, I'm sorry though. But, no, I was just saying. But you know, like usually the women who believe in the truth. Or claim to believe in it. They're fucking whacked. Weirdos. Yeah, weirdos. You better off get one of these hood bitches or something. <laughs> really? Well, yeah, I was arguing with the, uh, one of the IUIC niggas over there. I knew him from way back before I met y'all. And then I was talking to him. This woman was with him. The kid was bad as fuck. Crazy. I was arguing with him, and this woman kept talking, like, arguing with me. And she what the hell is this? And wow. it's like, you know, I didn't say that, but, you know, right, right. like, damn, nigga. Wow. Them bitches did not, they, they, have, they, they act like they all together and shit. Them bitches have no control. They, Arguing with a man and shit. I got a woman, y'all ain't never gonna see her. I ain't gonna let nobody touch her. I'm gonna lock her up. I'm gonna lock her up, bro. I ain't nobody touching her. Actually, you know that's true. She be sneaking out on me still. And now that's the truth of the matter. You act like you got your woman in check. Ain't nobody got their woman in check. That's the truth of the matter. <laughs> she has to creep. She will have to creep. creep. You know what I mean, though. She will act perfectly. Cause, around, that, cause everybody get all heartbroken. Right, they do, man. They don't get an opportunity. You bitches want to strike. Man. But then Jake, though, let's say Israel. You see that? He had his shit. Uh, but I was thinking though, like Jake, he get all heartbroken and stuff when his woman leaves him. He didn't think it could happen. But I, but I never thought she would do that to me. And she was so we was, you know been together for 15, 20 years. I can't, you know, because people always think that shit can't happen to them. What's the scripture say about the woman who on the street? Don't be a, uh, don't be a. Uh, That's a uh, Ecclesiastes was, 26. Fall or not, or something like that. Yeah. Right, right, right. I gotta find it. Ecclesiastes 26. Ecclesiastes 26. I'm gonna get back to this verse 6 for of this sort. Are they which creep into houses and we have the silly women laden with sins? They mean they're covering. That's all they. they their cover. whole lives is a wicked. Act. That's their covering. Right, right. They do sin. <laughs> sin. That's, that's their cover. That's, that's, yeah. that's their shield. Yeah, yeah. That's their shield. Is them. Yeah. That bukkake. How they got the bukkake shield? You know I got. I mean? That's awful to say that. Right. But I got, it's true though. Got to clean it up. The scripture says this: wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Because really, their shield too is nine one one. They could. That they, they, they 911 gives them license to sin. Simps, simple ass niggas. If you try to prevent them from sinning, they just call the cops on you. This purple force. What is up with everybody? Can't people just go back to being fucking normal? Silly people. Yeah, she comes. Wow. Look like a snow cone. That's real. Look like you want to go take a bite of her head. <laughs> the cotton candy head. Is just gone. They make themselves ugly. What is up with all that rainbow colored hair and shit Freak nowadays? Damn You're right though. Why can't they go back to just yeah, the simple ways, man? Good. And how beautiful was it when the woman was just just, just fucking regular? Yeah. Just some regular ass people. <laughs> and now everybody got to be we having a contest. It can be the craziest. Oh, you want to see some bugged out shit? Y'all watch the NBA, right? No. You, you watch the Phoenix Suns? Oh, oh you gotta see this dude's hair from the Phoenix Suns. I gotta check it out. The shooting, I think he's the shooting guard or something. Oh. I forget his name. Uh, his motherfucker, his hair come out like this. It goes like this, and it goes like this, and then it comes straight. I need, I need to get a picture of it. It's like a diving board, but then it goes down. It goes. I can't. Even, you gotta do a Google search on it. All right. Oh, let me. Do that. Oh, look. All right, let me. You got. You got to look it up. Hold I'm on, telling you. Look, hold on. I'm gonna look it up. I can't even. Watch, I can't watch the Phoenix Suns because of the dude's hair. It's too distracting. Check it out. Oh, 
led away with diverse loves, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Still talking about these women. <laughs> yeah, they they definitely. Okay. Um, okay. You said Phoenix Suns. Let me look it up. I'll probably find that. Woo! I know him as soon as I see him. Y'all got to see this haircut. This, I, I would kick him off the team. If I was a coach, I'd be like, bro, you're not playing until you cut that shit. That shit is probably No, because they be trying to stick him. Like, you trying to guard him, and his hair hit you in your head. <laughs> and that's even in last place. Of yeah, course, they, they, they took it to the extreme. Ever since Dennis Rodman brought that extreme creepiness to the NBA, man, everybody else follows suit. Everybody else follows suit. Oh, Dennis, and Dennis Rodman was extreme. You don't remember Dennis Rodman? Oh, basketball. basketball. Dennis Rodman was, and he was an amazing player, though. But he used that amazing, been an amazing player, man, to, to, to introduce his freakiness into the world, man. It's the world embrace. Here's your boy's hair. You just gotta they, go through, scroll through the picture. They embraced it. I gotta get it for the camera when you're done. Oh, wow. Sure. No, it's even worse than that. It, it like sticks out like three feet. Like, you can't stick it because his hair is hitting you. I can't watch him. It just bounces up and down the whole game. Let me see if I can get that for, my ca for this camera over here. I'll get it on your camera too, man. Just because this is the full, oh. Can we get the brightness up a little bit? Hey, I got it, I got it. See that. Look at your boy's hair. I don't know if they can get that on camera though. That's too much glare and shit. But look, what's his name? Alfred Payton. Look up Alfred Payton. I mean, look at that. that that's the foolishness. There's a dreadlock in I don't know what the fuck that is. It looks like Woody Woodpecker or something. That's, that's, that's a result being raised by the women. Yeah. Because now it's like a weirdo contest. Who can be the biggest weirdo? You know? They say who can, you know, who can wear the tightest pants. Now you see dudes, they sagging with skinny jeans now. How you sag with skinny jeans? That doesn't even make no sense. You know, even Jake want to talk about he gangster too. How you supposed to run from the cops with some sagging skinny jeans? That doesn't even make sense. Uh, look at your boy, uh, I think his name is 69 something. You know that weird ass nigga? Oh, say Takashi, yeah. Yeah, Takashi, man. I'm the weirdest ass nigga. And they gonna, he gonna get killed, watch. Somebody gonna shoot yeah, his yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. He talk, he talk too much shit. Oh, actually, I had a good point. Somebody gonna get James White. <laughs> I wanted to bring his, did you have something to bring? No, no, I'm finishing that. I want to get back on James White for me. You don't mind, dude. Because I was just thinking, I was just thinking about that. So, you know, you, so when you run your mouth and you say crazy shit like that, crazy shit come back on you. Yep, leprosy. But uh, what did James White say? He said the Israelites are worse than the KKK. That's some crazy shit to say, isn't it? I got a scripture for that. This is Proverbs 13 and 3. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. So when you say something crazy like that, you know what I'm saying? You get killed for that. So the Most High is going to destroy James White for saying that. That's a, Just think about it, though. When you say something that crazy, that's, a, that's real crazy to say something like that. So he's going to get something real crazy back as a reward for it. Ain't no threat, you know, the most high don't make threats, he makes promises. Hey, what's that other one, man? Uh, I had another wizard of the most high is gonna laugh at the storm. I got, oh, here we go, we got Matthew 12. Question, my man. Uh, what, what, what religion is this? Being a religion, we're, we're Hebrew Israelites. Oh, uh, okay. You a Hebrew Israelite? Uh, 
I know it. <laughs> Not a, you ain't a nigga, man. I know that. You Trust know what I'm saying? Me, I know Af that. African American. Yes, sir. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's that bullshit. African American. They tell you you're two different nations at once. <laughs> Confusion. And America's not even a nation. We're talking about the authors of confusion. Yes. Uh, here we go. Uh, Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. That's for oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You're going to have to give account for that. Is that really right there? I think that way he said, I think he's really wishing he could take those words back now. Think about it. You say something like that, and now now you got people comparing. Like he just said this, you start comparing the KKK to it. KKK don't kill people, hang people, strong motherfucker, drug people with the back of a pickup truck. You know what I mean? I mean that's what they're known for. Burning cross. You ever see Israelites burn crosses in someone's yard? No. I mean that's what these motherfuckers is known for. So you compare. I'm sure Nate didn't want to. They probably would do some shit like that. Uh, you don't want to burn. You don't want to be doing that. They don't want to burn down the church. James White gonna have to be. I think that probably did. I forgot all you even said that too. What? Well, technically, though, technically, the scriptures do say to burn them like that. Hey, you can't be burning fucking churches down to the ground. That's, cra that's crazy. You know, Old Testament didn't prescribe that, though. In the Old Testament, uh, we were commanded to burn down any heathen temple, any altar, their groves, and all that. But we can't be. But, like, that goes back into the law and all that, that we're in the spirit now, you know? So we're supposed to. Operate on a spiritual level, not a carnal level. Yes, sir. We and we ain't got the power in our hands to do that anyway. You burn something down now, you going to jail. You think if we burn down a heathen temple in the ancient world, we, the cops is gonna come and get us? And by always get run you up on some charges? Well, so I ain't gonna make sure you don't get away with it anyway. Right, that's what I'm saying. But in the ancient world, you 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 we supposed to do that. Our whole nation had our back. They didn't know we gonna get arrested for it. There were no fucking cops. There were no fucking America. None of this faggot shit out here. You know what I mean? So now you get, you got, we in constant, you got to watch what you do in this country. You get locked up. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. You got to watch what you say, man. James White saying the KKK. Oh, no, no. What did he say? He said the Israelites, the Israelites are worse than the KKK. Yeah, it's crazy. Maybe he's a member of the KKK. He probably got to be to say that's racist. That's just... You want to say, you like to throw that word racist around. That's racist. If you want to use that word like that, that's fucking, that's as racist as you We got a right to be racist. You oh. can't tell us that oh, it's wrong. Shit. Well, I'm not we talking to you. We got a right to do what we want to do. He's whatever not, our prerogative is. I'm not, I'm not talking to you. What are you talking about? I'm talking about a white preacher. Not about you. That's why, that's why you got to shut the fuck up. Yeah, Stop talking shit that you don't even understand. That's, that's the English. The Lord gave us an example of help dumbass peace people. Help, please, to the Ku Klux Klan. Help, please, to the Ku Klux Klan. You make yourself look like a fool. Just get on the bus. You, she, 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 she down with the KKK. Is that what you said? I guess so. She said all hell to KKK. <laughs> Man, get the fuck out of here. These people are crazy. Fuck the fuck out, These people are whack out the here. Fuck out. What is it? Y'all gotta stop Girl. smoking that shit, man. For real, y'all. She's still high from the seventies, man. God damn. <laughs> she, she, she cussed me out. You see that demon jumped on her? That was a demon. Oh, yeah, jumped on. Her. I thought she was throwing up gang signs too. You know what? He swore, I swore, I swore to these stupid bitches, man. The, uh, Satan jumped in the swine and the swine had a conversation to go jump off the fucking mountain, man. And you know what it is, though? <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with what we're talking about. They just mad because them demons just get mad that we out here bringing out the scriptures and bringing out the truth. That's all. That's it. Like, said, it's demons get stirred up. <laughs> so we could be talking about anything and they'll, they'll trip no matter what. Shit, shit, shit wasn't even that serious. Well, we was just talking about what even that serious. <laughs> we was talk, just talking about old James White being a racist. <laughs> Bitch losing mom. Demon jumped on her. That's some funny shit. That was. <laughs> oh, 
shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Um, that was it. James White, the racist. You got some? Yeah. <laughs> we should do a whole series on called James White, the racist. It's uh, Surat 28 and uh, 17. Looks like it. 18. It says, many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many as fallen by the tongue. Oh, she fall by the tongue. And that's the beginning of James White's downfall right there. I'm going to say some dumb ass shit like that. You know? And you, when he, he don't, because he pulled got that pride. Oh, uh, okay. When you got that pride, it, you, you ain't thinking that pride makes you, makes you think all fucked up. You ain't using, using sense, you know? So that, so that boy James, why are you all puffed up thinking a hot shot, just saying some dumb ass shit like that? And now he's looking stupid, you know what I mean? What's good with you? Shalom. So he's just waking up. Maybe you some coffee. It's like that. Uh, it says, it says, well is he that is defended from it and hath not passed through the venom thereof, who have not drawn the yoke thereof, nor have been bound in her bands, for the yoke thereof is a yoke of iron, and the bands thereof are the bands of brass. The death thereof is an evil death, and the grave were better than it. It shall not have rule over them that fear God, neither shall they be burned with the flame thereof. Such as forsake the Lord shall fall into it, and shall be burned in them, and not be quenched. It shall be sent upon them as a lion, and devour them as a leopard. Look that, look that uh, thou heads. Look that thou hedge thy possession about with thorns, and bind up thy silver and gold, and weigh thy words in the balance, and make a door and bar for thy mouth. Oh, look at that. Weigh thy words in the balance. Oh, what were we just talking about before he got up here? Uh, running in mouth. No, do, do James White. You know James White is? Yeah. No, he's he probably heard the thing. He was saying, uh, he said, the, the, he said we're wor the Israelites are worse than the KKK. But you know that scripture is going into uh, what it say? Your words, you know how what is scripture? We just read it. By your words, you'll be justified or condemned. And that said, your words are going to be weighed. Yeah, because yeah. people, man, they just be popping off in the mouth, man, just saying shit. It says, you weigh that words in the balance and make a door and bar for that mouth. Make a door, you know, make a door, bar for your mouth. You gotta watch what you say. Hey, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. Say something stupid. You ready? It, there's that one scripture that says a fool becomes wise when he shuts the hell up or something like that. I'm going to look that one. Beware that thou slide not by it, lest thou fall before him that lieth in wait. Some people, like, that's why you got to watch the same people making videos. Some people wait for to say something. Like, 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 think about it. Oh, last week, or two weeks ago, them white dudes came up here. They trying to get us to say something. They had cameras on us. Trying to get us to say something violent or something. Trying to get us to say we wanted to hurt somebody. You know what I mean? They're trying to put a message out. They're trying to teach them something, but they're trying to not be. They're okay, not even trying, trying to hear a message. For that, what you're talking about. But they're just trying to hear, hear you pronounce a word wrong. Yeah, it's just, bullshit. you know, they're just trying to see you stumble or something. Stumble or something. Fuck them. That's their job, is to be stumbles. This is second Peter's story that tells you in the last days. In the last days. That's it. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
and the word of the Most High, the heavens were a home, and the earth stand out in the water and in the water. But by the word that then was being overthrown with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same words, are kept in store and preserved unto fire against the dead judgment. That's, that's the message, man. Ungodly fucking men. And this is my dude, Kurt! Kurt! What's up, boy? Kurt, Kurt! Good. What you doing down here? You just got released. Huh? You just got released. <laughs> uh -uh, what's up, boy? What's up, man? You're doing it, huh? You need the tissue? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'll get you, Gavin. Hey, uh, what? Yeah. It was like a couple years ago. He was at my crib. He got drunk as fuck going, just reading the scriptures, man. For like six hours. <laughs> oh, bro. <what's> that? <laughs> but yeah, but... He's talking about the message. Yeah, because he's like, he's going to destroy this world just like he destroyed it with the flood. But it's kind of by fire. So, y'all, uh, talking about the fire. Uh, uh, man. Uh, we already tore it down. It's our 12-1. Help, Lord, the godly man cease for the faithful. Fail from among the children of man. They speak vanity. Everyone with his neighbors, his, with flattering lips, with a double heart, do they speak? See, that's talking about everybody. Yeah. That's just two thirds of uh, Israel. That's all. You know, that's this whole world. They speak double heart. Mm -hmm. Same thing with. I mean, these people out here are wicked as hell. Man. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and a tongue that speaks proud things. Oh, that's yeah. That's a that's a James White scripture right yeah, there. Not... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, James White, you say, uh, he said the Israelites are worse than the KKK. Read that again. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips in the time that speaks proud things. That, that only proud man, only pride, only pride will cause you to say something so stupid. They hear the KKK done kill people, done hung people, yeah, they done lynch people. And now they took off the white sheets, now they in the fucking government houses and shit, man. Yeah, they call themselves the alt right now. Yeah, they said, yeah, yeah they wearing the white sheets has caused problems for them now. Yeah. So they just be out in the open with their shit now. Yeah. They don't wear costumes like that. <laughs> That's back in the past. Uh, all right. Uh, for the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, well, well, not, well. Now while I raise, says the Lord, yeah, I will. Hey, really, when James White says something like that, that's helping to oppress the poor. And here it is, we, people out here doing this work, we all poor, because Israel's poor. And here it is, we out here, you know, fighting for our little. James, we do that. Yeah, we out here fighting and, you know, scraping by and all that. And we out here doing the work. And you trying to say we worse than the KKK. What kind of fucked up shit is that? Right. Uh, Get your ass beat for saying something like that. Now, well, I arise, says the Lord. I will set in, I will set him in safety for him that pair, right, that poofed at him. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in the furnace of the earth, purified seven times. Yeah, this, this words is pure, and that's all we do. People have a problem with us. So we come out here and we read these words, you know. The words of the Most High. Cause these words is pure. Like the scriptures say, Esau gonna be destroyed. Yeah. And we read it, everybody got a problem with it. But that's what it says. The scriptures say the Lord only came for the nation of Israel. And hey. The scriptures say he that believes on me as the scriptures yeah. have said. Yeah, as the scriptures have said. Out of his body shall flow uh, with waters. But look, it says, Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them for, from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vows men are exalted. Yeah, so. the wicked walk on every side. It's uh, Psalms 50. Go to uh, shit, shit. It says uh, 18. It said, it started 17. It says, uh, you know what I'm talking about? The Edomite. James, says, James White, the Edomite? It says, seeing thou hatest instruction and cast my words behind thee. When thou sawest a thief, then thou considerest with him and hast been particular for adulterers. Thou gavest thy mouth to evil. But pretty much what I'm saying is, you pretty much with the wicked. Because he pretty much, in, in, in you know, layman's term, he pretty much just justified the uh, kick and cake. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 you say that? Like, yeah, you said okay. that non-violent people are worse than violent people. Yeah, that's See? just... You see the bigger picture here? I know we're trying to prove her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which he know he knows. That motherfucker know. He knows it's true. That's why he's saying. But he don't know say all the worst. He 
said it, man. I mean, that's some crazy shit to say. I mean, you, you, you over stuff the boundaries on that one. I got a little quote. It says, Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth the seat. That's the seat where that boy just, we just talked about. Talking about that's the seat. Uh, that's uh, what's it called? That's uh, that's uh, Baron Frost Witness. Oh, that is that is Baron. That's one of the ticket matters. You got to have, yeah, right. You got to back your things up. Uh, rich, rich, really rich. He's in a, in a way he's writing in his, you know, for his people because we gonna be worse than the KKK in the spiritual <laughs> way because we gonna put all them in slavery and you know actually put all of them to death. The only difference though, we gonna have the power of the Lord. Yeah, meaning. So, because right? he's writing his own people for his own people's just, 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 just justification, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just bad for his people, that's why he's saying it. The funniest thing is fucking Edomite, don't have to be no soldier, man. No soldier, shit, y'all could have had to be that. Yeah, shit, yeah. It is what it is. It is good, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a little boy said, Now, uh, now, citizens, is speaking against thy brother, uh, Jacob. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. 